What's going on YouTube? You are joining me with a bowl of oats. So we've got 20 grams of strawberry whey mixed in, sample from Body Power. Don't know how good it's going to taste. And we've got some chia seeds on top. And then we have got a green tea, which I like to have before the workout. And the buffet video has just gone live, so let me know your, your thoughts on that. And let's eat this and let's make our way to the gym. So we we're just about to take our pre-workout supplement and head out. Consume the oatmeal straight to the stomach and I'm feeling pretty strong today but one thing 46 is on dumbbells how will they feel today? I'm obviously increasing the bench press as well, but the 46 is What should I do? Should I go for like as many reps as possible again with them? I don't know if I'll be able to get 10 I'll be optimistic and hopeful and say that I will or should I try 40s and go for like 12 reps, 4 sets, that might be another idea. It's such a shame there isn't 42s or 44s. Or should I use the incline machine where I can add plates to it? That might be the one. I think I, I'll do a set of the 46s and then I'll use the incline machine. Just thought I'd go over that with you guys. Let's make this a big workout. Let's go. The pre-workout I'm using is Gold Standard Ops of Nutrition. We're putting two servings in. Let's get it. Also guys, you'll be happy to know I have ordered a backpack. It is a North Face backpack. Hello, hello, hello. We're here with another saucy voiceover. First, I want to point out the quad definition in my left leg right there. You can see the teardrop. You might are in the Mona Lisa teardrop, guys. Okay, bench press first up. We used 112.5 kilograms on this and we got three times five. So that's three sets of five. In every set, we got four reps, rested for 10 seconds, and got, got the final rep. So there was a rest pause used in each set. For the remaining two sets, I used 110 kilograms, which was three reps, and then a rest pause, and then got the last two. What that tells me is my muscular endurance needs to improve, and it is improving, and I'm getting stronger as I'm on now 112.5. Like, it's moving up. Next time this will be 115. So, you know, I'm actually excited, man, for getting five reps of 115 or four and a rest pause of 115. Second exercise, incline dumbbell press. 46 kilograms. Okay, like I said at the start of the video, we're going to test what 46 is like and then we'll make our analysis. Are we going to do it? And that was basically if I got 10 reps. So I kind of tried to burst the reps here instead of going all the way to the top to see if it made a difference. And it sort of did. I got seven and a half reps. But for me, that just wasn't quite enough. So what I did, I switched to the incles, incles, incline uh, press machine and I put 50 kilograms per side. I got a set of 10 here. And then the second set, I got 10 with a rest pause uh, for the last one rep. And then for the third set, I got six reps. So there are there is 50 kilograms per side. Like it. it's a pretty cheeky weight, and it's it's hard after bench pressing. Maybe I don't rest enough after doing bench press before incline. So next time I'll try to rest a little bit more. Okay, third exercise, guys. We have got the cable flies. We did 12 kilograms on these small cables, four sets of 10. This normally should be third exercise, incline dumbbell flies, but I couldn't get on any of the benches. I was coming to the gym today at about half three, so I do need to start going a little earlier on, which I will. I used to go at about 10, so I'm going to try that tomorrow. Okay, moving on to the lower cable flies. We've got 12 kilograms, one times 10 here. As you can tell, this is heavy. The form's terrible. My elbows, my arms, sorry, actually flared out too much, which is probably making it harder for myself. So we did move the weight down to 10 kilograms and then got three times 10. But I was determined to finish this set, even if it was poor form. Well, it's not exactly poor, but it's not exactly, you know, it's not benefiting me as a lighter weight would benefit me. Although it is making me stronger doing these heavier weights, you know, more stress on the tendons, which also can lead to injury. So you need to get the, the good balance. Okay, moving on to incline dumbbell flows. I moved this up to 22 kilograms. We've got three sets of 10 on 22. And then I thought I'm going to move this down to 18 and get a set of 10. But as you can see, the form is pretty solid. And I haven't got like that slight one side of the body's coming up more than the other. It's actually pretty balanced. So I've tried to work, work on my uh, muscular imbalances. And I actually think that it's benefiting me as, you know, it looks pretty... Uh, symmetrical and I'm getting a good squeeze on these and three sets of it felt good 24s next time again will be interesting but I've said that every week about different things every phase sorry about different things being interesting on a heavier weight and to be fair to you it just it's progressing like it should be it's just flowing really nicely 
Okay, on to the triceps now, easy curl bar skull crushers. This is 17.5 kilograms. So what we did was three times 10, uh, no, sorry, four times 10 with 17.5, which is a massive increase from last time where we only got one set of 17.5. The only problem I had here was my wrists were absolutely killing. Um, so what I had to do was I had to grip slightly further out, which may have helped me get the other reps. Look at that leg dance with the hamstring bouncing. And it looks like my glute's been sucked into the bench. I was dead there and then I thought, you know, I'm gonna get the press out. And I pressed it for the last rep. But that was because of my wrists really hurt and due to the weight load on them. Okay, instead of the overhead extensions with the dumbbell, again, we switched it up to the tricep extension machine. On this, I think we used 59 kilograms and we got four times 10 again. You might be wondering why I'm not putting the screenshots in and that's purely because I'd, I'd rather explain the weights to you guys, but I can start putting them in if anyone wants to see them. At the end, I will put them all in in the finale video, the six phase finale. Okay, tricep uh, cable kickbacks, which is supposed to be my last exercise, but obviously we had to um, put dips last, which is really annoying because um, they were being used. So on this I just used nine kilograms on the big cables and got four times 10. Okay, last exercise guys, tricep dips. We switched up with a 10 kilogram dumbbell between our legs, which is another two kilogram increase and four times 10, pretty easy again, even though it was my last exercise. Thanks a lot for listening to this voiceover guys. Like the video and subscribe for more. We are back guys. Hoods up, it's been absolutely smashing it down outside. So what we're gonna do is eat one pizza, two pizza, these are the ones from Sainsbury's, and we're also gonna eat this flatbread as well. So yeah, kind of smashing in some calories to get the um, calories up today as they're really low, but don't eat like this every single day. I'm not saying that that's a good thing or anything. I'm just saying at the moment for like two to three weeks, I'm trying to smash as many calories in as possible and then I will level it back out to what I want to do. If I want to cut and then look at competing or if I want to bulk up a little bit more before I compete. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the voiceover again and thanks a lot for all the recent subscribers. We've got like six new subscribers on board since the last video. Cheers guys, it is a Greg Lock Fitness.